If you're interested in a brand new pirate series that just got posted on Netflix, then stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm Shark Whitebeard here at Shark's Tavern, the bosun mate for the pirate ship Fluffboo's Revenge. And kind of missing the rent fares and everything else and kind of thinking, I don't know if they're going to have any this summer or not. But And people, friends and family started calling me up and saying, you know, you got a, there's a brand new series on Netflix about pirates and you got to watch it. So I tuned into it and started watching it. It's really good. It's um, basically about the golden age of pirates. It's kind of a good thing because it's, it, I did a video on explaining how this whole thing came about, the golden age of pirates in the Caribbean. And this really goes into it. It's like a documentary and they're giving you the names of the, of the people that were involved. But it has actors kind of playing it out and dramatizing the, uh, the incidents that happened and the, and the people that that were involved. And it's pretty crazy and, it, and you really uh, realize that these were real people and they were really uh, people that took the bull by the horns and kind of went for it and put their lives on the line and everything else to try to uh, bring this whole thing about. So it's kind of impressive. These people, in my opinion, were bigger than life. The name of the series is The Lost Pirate Kingdom and there's six episodes and it covers a lot of stuff. It's talking about Horn of Gold, a guy named Jennings, they're talking about Blackbeard, Captain Vane, and a guy named uh, Bellamy. They also uh, talk about um, Anne Bonny, how she got mixed up in the whole thing. And it really goes into the slave trade and how the slave trade was such a big deal to the, um, the economies of these European countries that were making all kinds of money off this thing. And it really goes into the disenfranchised pirates who after, at some point, when um, the European powers had made peace with each other, you're looking at France, England, Spain, and Holland, and they made peace, so all these sailors were left out in the Caribbean with no uh, means to support themselves or anything else, because they'd been fighting each other in the, in the war going on down there, and so all of a sudden the major powers made peace, and these guys were kind of left out in the cold, a bunch of sailors who don't know anything else of what to do. So they kind of formed their own pirate republic uh, based on egalitarianism and, and they put like a, what they tell what it's like to be on a pirate ship, how you get to vote in your captain and everything else and, and you have a say in how everything goes, stuff like that. And it's really, uh, the way it's played out, you've got to think, i got to think like, ah, what it would be like to do that? And it was this thing was so far-fetched to anybody of that era to think that a bunch of people were going to form their own society and that they were going to make their own pirate republic and there are people from all nations and every different races and everything else. One of the things I remember in the pirate series is they have this, uh, they were really, when they started upsetting the slave trade, they were bringing in slaves from Africa and bringing them down to the Caribbean to work on the plantations and stuff. And there were people back in Europe, rich people, merchants and everyone else, making tremendous amounts of, of wealth off this whole thing. And there's one part where this guy's a very wealthy Englishman. He's like he's part of the House of Lords, and he had a he sponsored a ship or bought a ship to go out there to this to the to Africa to bring slaves back to the to the plantations in the Caribbean. And somebody brings him a note and said, "Hey, you know, you're not going to believe what happened." And he says, "What happened?" And they told him, well, "Yeah, these pirates they took your slave ship." And he said, "Wow, they they captured it, they took it." And and he said, "But it's worse than that." And they, I said, well, how can it be much worse than that? He goes, dude, they freed the slaves. They gave them weapons. They given the slaves uh, ships to sail on the pirate the rest of our of our fleet of merchants and everything. I said, oh my God, we've got to put a stop to this thing, can't be. And eventually they sent um, Woods Rogers with the fleet of ships to wipe out the pirates and stuff like that. And it kind of plays it out of how everything happened and how it played out. And these guys, they put, they really put themselves on the line. And uh, some of them, some actually may have got away pretty wealthy, and some didn't. Some hung and everything else. But it's a great, it's a great series, uh, The Lost Pirate Kingdom, what it's called, six episodes. My brother, who, who did 20 years in the Navy, was telling me that he was watching the series, and he said it really resonated with him in the fact that that they show some of the pirate ships were taken out with like five ships, like a whole squadron of ships going out. And he said that he remembers uh, being on an aircraft carrier out there with the whole task force of ships with them floating out in the middle of the ocean and how much uh, it made you feel really part of something and really powerful and strong and everything else. And they go into ports and they would, uh, you know, 5,000 sailors would be uh, get leave to go into port at one time. 
and how they kind of took over the town and had the run of everything. And a lot of places they looked at them like heroes and stuff, and sometimes they didn't look at them as heroes, uh, depending you know where you landed, what port you were in. And he said, wow, that must have been what the pirates felt, because I remember feeling the same thing when I was out there. So it's a great series. If you get a chance to watch it, um, I, I think you'd really enjoy it if you're into pirates and the, and the whole history and the culture and everything else. It made me feel like, wow, that's it, they did a really good job to feel what it was like to be out there. So if you like more videos like this, please like, subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, post a comment. Uh, thank you very much.